Hello everybody, uh, my name is Nicole Mashburn and I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of what to do this first week of the semester and how to get started in Biology 202, Anatomy and Physiology number 2. So this is the second course in a sequence of Anatomy and this course is wholly online so I just want to give you a couple of things I want you need to do this week. Obviously if you are listening to this video uh, then you have logged into Blackboard and have found your course. Uh, so what we want to do is go to course information, which you should be doing if you're watching this video, and you have clicked on instructor information and are watching the welcome orientation video. Okay, so let me go back. So what you want to do after uh, watching this video will then be to click on these tiles and move through the different uh, uh, areas of information that have been provided to you for this course. The first one is the course syllabus. Um, you have your course syllabus that you need to click on and then read through the syllabus. It gives information about me and the course, your textbook, uh, grading, uh, makeup policies, what we're going to cover for this semester, and also a schedule. So make sure that you download the syllabus. You're going to want to refer to that throughout the semester. Okay, so uh, if you email me a question uh, the first week of the semester, I'm probably going to say, have you checked the syllabus? <laughs> so make sure before you email me that you do check that syllabus uh, because most of the time those first couple of day questions are in the syllabus. All right, uh, once you have read the syllabus, there's a quiz. You just click on the syllabus quiz. It will take you to the quiz and you answer a couple of questions. This must be done this first week uh, for you to be counted present in the course. Uh, failure to do so may uh, result in you being dropped from the course. Here is your textbook information. Uh, this semester we are using Mastering, which is an online homework uh, uh, program. Uh, so if you've had uh, anatomy before, you probably have already used mastering. Uh, if you have not, you may need to buy a textbook with the code. Uh, you can either do that at the bookstore or through the mastering site. All you have to do uh, is kind of read through here and it's got information on what you need to do and how to register. The actual link for mastering is going to be here. So click there and then you'll just click Welcome to Mastering A&P and that will walk you through the steps uh, that you need to do in order to register for the class. Now, this is a directly linked Mastering uh, to Blackboard connection uh, for my class. You do not need a course ID, okay? So if you're getting a message that says, uh, please enter course ID, then you have probably gone outside of Blackboard and typed in Mastering A&P. Uh, this is not the right one, okay? So don't go to that one. Make sure that you go to the one that's actually associated with Blackboard. So again, if you get a course ID message, don't email me, you're doing it wrong. Go back to the mastering link, <laughs> click on this button, and, uh, and that should uh, fix it for you, okay? Uh, if for some reason your, your code's not working, let me know, uh, uh, and I can see if I can help get a swap code if for some reason there's something wrong with the code that came with your textbook. All right, so again, uh, after you've done your mastering, uh, you don't have to buy any other things besides your textbook uh, with a mastering code if you, if you don't have that from 201. You don't have to buy any PowerPoints or lab guides. All of that's provided for you in the course, and I'll show you where that is in just a second. Uh, the next thing you want to do this week is decide how you want to test. All of our tests are proctored. Uh, and you can either take the test uh, here on campus in Decatur or Huntsville at the testing centers, or you can take it at home using a webcam. And you need to make that decision uh, this week so I, that I can uh, give you approval for home testing. So if you want to test from home, uh, you'll go through the web ca uh, webcam testing area, read through this information, uh, you'll download Respondus Monitor, and you'll do a web demo. Uh, I'll get that, and I'll uh, then review those and let you know if you're approved for testing. Uh, it will be at least next week. Uh, I give everybody the first week to do this and then next week I will start reviewing those and send you an email uh, if you have been approved to test from home. So again, you need to do that this week. You want to register for mastering and figure out how you want to test. So go back to the course syllabus. Uh, that's everything you need to do in this tile. 
There is then uh, the college syllabus, and so these are things that the that are um, for all students, regardless of course. So you want to make sure you read through here and understand things about uh, disability, withdrawal policies, conduct, plagiarism and cheating, uh, communication, things like that. So make sure you read through that if you've not done so already. Course overview. Uh, you, there's a little quick video to let you know what the course is going to be about, what we're going to cover this semester. So you want to watch that. Course objectives. This is uh, our plan uh, for the semester. Uh, if you can do all this with a proficiency of 70% or greater, then you are considered successful in this course. Expectations. This just basically says, uh, you know, how I expect to be treated and how you should expect to be treated by me. Uh, and so uh, it tells you that you should log in several times a week um, and uh, how much time you need to spend working on this course and that I will email you or post back to the discussion board in a timely manner. So make sure you read through that. There's also a communications policy. Um, all communications to me th should be using your Calhoun email. If you email me with, you know, uh, random name dot fluffy kitty uh, I will not respond it must be your name at Calhoun edu uh, that's for privacy and federal law so don't email me from your gmail account uh, I'll just not respond to it at all so use your Calhoun email um, we also have a discussion board that's a great way for, if for some reason your email is not working you can uh, send me a discussion post and um, or you can call me so uh, you have my phone number my email uh, information to you so there's my phone number and email for you to get in touch with me now I do want you to click open this uh, guidelines PDF uh, basically it has some netiquette rules um, you know don't use all caps uh, don't use profanity don't use hey uh, hey lady <laughs> you know just you know Dr. Mashburn is, is fine even Mrs. Mashburn's okay uh, so make sure you're spelling out your words, not using text speak. Don't write with caps locks on. That's that's rude. That's shouting. Uh, so just read through that so we can all get along and, and be polite to each other. And last but not least, if there's something else that you just can't figure out about how to do or what to do at Calhoun, there's an entire page on student resources that tells you how to use the different things here at Calhoun. All right. So once you've worked through all of this course information, you can then go to course content all right um, if this is uh, uh, if you need to do the blackboard orientation course uh, you'll just click here uh, I'm assuming since you guys are all in 202 that you understand how to use the blackboard orientation course but if you have any uh, problems using blackboard uh, click on this button it will take you through basically a uh, how to use blackboard um, session and then you can send me a submission saying that you did it and that way um, I know that you understand how to use Blackboard. Uh, it's not required um, for me uh, for a grade or anything. It's just a good thing for you to do to make sure that everything's working. Uh, so because if you email me and say I don't know how to do something I'm going to say well did you do the Blackboard orientation because uh, that will probably fix your problem with how to navigate Blackboard. So once you've done your Blackboard orientation course, just submit your certificate there. And um, again, not for a grade, it's just to let me know that you know how to use the system. Uh, there is a calendar. So if you're ever confused about when something is due, I can go to your calendar. And this is my teacher version, so I've got all my classes here. Uh, your class uh, will show up under um, uh, in your calendar with whatever color coordinated uh, choices you use so you do have a calendar to let you know when things are due um, go back to course content uh, the way the course is set up is that we have uh, five units each unit takes three weeks you have um, let's go to unit one we're going to go through read your learning objectives uh, print off your study guide uh, and your lab guide you'll click on uh, the first week and there'll be a series of videos and things like that for you to watch All right you just simply click through um, the buttons and everybody's on the computer today because it's uh, all the t all the faculty are using blackboard it's a little slow so I apologize for that but when you do click on it it should click through the videos
there we go there's a video and you simply click play if for some reason it doesn't play I've also added the YouTube links that will take you out to YouTube so you can watch the videos there as well and I've provided you with PowerPoints all right um after you finish week one you'll go to week two and then it will be a reminder to do your homework and then the last folder is your last week which will have your exams okay so that's all I'm gonna do right now I know you got a lot to do this first week to get started I just want to give you a quick uh, overview on uh, how to proceed through the first week of course information as soon as you get this done preferably quickly in the next couple of days go ahead and start course content uh, because your first exam is in three weeks so you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of time to work on unit one uh, the last thing I wanted to mention is the discussion board uh, so I've got some little posts here, some little starter questions. Uh, so if you have a question, again, I'm not always available. I'm either in class or maybe I'm asleep. So if you have a question, uh, feel free to post the discussion board. Everybody should be checking the discussion board uh, and answering as needed. I will check in daily and correct wrong information and answer questions as needed. But again, use this as your virtual classroom. Uh, again, I'm not always available. Uh, I have class every day and I do sleep. So make sure you use that discussion board, uh, especially this week uh, if you're lost and need any help finding anything. If you've had my course before for 201, it's set up exactly the same. If you're a new student, uh, it may take you a couple of days to get oriented. So again, please use the discussion board if you have any questions. All right, guys, that's it. Good luck. Uh, have a great first week. Don't forget to get started. This is not a syllabus week. It's really just a syllabus day. So get started with those videos as soon as possible. Good luck.